In our previous video, we made an application that allows us to add multiple shortcuts to a collection and then shows our shortcuts. In this video, we're going to add a few usability enhancements to that. So uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, we need some kind of confirmation that we've added the item to the list. So what I'm going to do is borrow a little bit of this notifier logic that we have down below. But one note, if I go back to my screen, the notifier that we already have is set to show long messages, which makes sense for a keyboard shortcut because typically it's a sentence or two. But let's not bother the user any more than we need to. So I'm going to add another notifier because we can add more than one. I'm going to add notifier 2. And the only difference is notifier 2 is going to use short, uh, shorter messages. So we just drag and drop them down there. There we go, notifier 2. So notifier length, we're simply going to make it short. That's ideal if we just have one word like saved, for instance. So now with that, I'm going to go back to my blocks. And I'm going to say uh, call. We'll do, I'll grab my notifier 2 here. And call notifier 2. And we're going to say show alert. I'm going to drag this out. Now, again, take a look at the shape. Notice it has a little notch carved out of, the, uh, out of the top and then a little notch coming out of the bottom. So this is one of those uh, linear instructions that we can do. Do this and then move to the next. Do this and then move to the next. And you'll see as I put it right up, if I can get it right in there, right after our, there we go. Okay, we're going to need to move some things around. But you see that we're, we're calling our instructions in a linear fashion here. First, add items to the list. Next, we pass control from the blue to the purple. Next, show an alert. And what's the alert going to be? Uh, we're simply going to put some text in there. So text, I can put some literal text like so. You see the double quotes? That means it's literal text. And then I click my cursor here to put in a message like save. Now, I'll warn you, as it is now, this isn't very internationalization friendly because that's saved in English. Uh, where with a full-blown integrated development environment, uh, we would be able to do some more things with internationalization. But this will work fine for us. So I'm simply grabbing my notifier to the shorter notifier. I'm showing an alert, saved. It's only one word. It only needs to be up there for a moment. Now, once again, we have linear instructions here. We're doing one instruction, and then the next, and then the next. And you see that this still has one of these notches, which indicates we can call something else again. So what I can do here is I can ha have it change the background color of our screen. So I'm just going to drag screen one. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to scroll down to sc set screen one background color. Now, once again, shape is very important. It has the little dimple here, which means that it can be called in a series of linear instructions. And then it has a notch here, which indicates that it can call something else when its instruction is complete. It also has a little puzzle piece here, meaning set the background color to what? To something we're going to decide. So I drag this out and notice when the notch of the purple kind of highlights, means I have it in the right place, so I release. Set screen ground, set screen one dot background color to what? Uh, well, it would be nice to randomize this, but for the moment, let's just change it to green, like so. Very easy to do. One more thing we want to do is we want to empty out the text that is currently in our text box. So I'm going to go to text box one, and you see set text box one dot there are a whole bunch of things that follow a dot numbers only text text color visible width these are all attributes or things that describe the text box including the text that's in the text box now last time we said text box one dot text which basically means get the text that is in the text box and return it this little notch indicates it's going to return something to uh, whatever's calling it. In this case, we want to do something a little bit different. We don't want to get the text out. We want to set the text to a blank. We want to set it to nothing. So I'm going to grab this set 
text box one text. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to put it underneath our instructions here. That, again, we're executing one at a time, kind of like a, a linear fashion. Set text box one text to what? Well, we want to set it to empty. How would we do that? Think about that because we did something very similar before. Empty is simply a string with no characters, but it's always that same string with no characters. It's kind of like a constant string. Just like what you see up here, where we're showing an alert that says saved, here we're showing a constant, we're just going to say double quote, double quote, nothing in between. So I'm going to go to text, and I'm going to grab that same, that same little widget we used here, which is the literal text, drag that down, just leave it like so. Double quote, double quote, nothing in sight. So at this point, I'm going to save my project. And as a matter of fact, I might be pretty happy with where I am. So I might just go ahead and save it as a checkpoint. So a checkpoint, kind of like a, a place where I can always come back to it later, kind of like how we were talking about Control Z. So at this time, I'm going to say checkpoint name. I'm going to say uh, add to list with confirmation. Confirmation. Hopefully I spelled that pretty close. <clears throat> okay. Letters, numbers, and underscores. It's not going to let me do uh, spaces, so let me just take the spaces out. And okay. Still makes sense to me. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy this on our emulator. So I'll say reset connection and then emulator, and then we'll give it a few moments to come up. Now it's deployed on our emulator, let's see what we get. So I'll say control C to copy. And then I'm going to click on add shortcut. And you notice saved appears here, but uh, the screen also turns green. So it's kind of like an, uh, it's, it's, a, it's another cue that helps the user. The user might not see that saved come up. The only trick is we ought to reset the color uh, to something after a few seconds so that maybe just flashes green for a moment or something like that because from now on it's going to keep changing to green but changing to green from from green so it won't be so obvious what's changing okay control v to paste then i'm going to choose again add shortcut again it's already green so we won't see a change there you do see save to appear here short notice that was a very short pop-up and more importantly, notice that the text box is empty again, but it does show the enter a helpful hint, a helpful keyboard shortcut. It shows the hint text where we're about to type. So this really cuts us down where we don't need a label and a text field anymore. The label essentially appears inside the text field. Just to make sure the application still works, I'm going to click show all shortcuts. And again, it's just going to show a random one. But control V to paste, show all shortcuts, control V to paste. And, you know, it's picking it randomly, but eventually we should get our control C to copy as well. So uh, we could possibly have it change the screen color back. There we go, control C to copy. We could possibly have it change the screen color back uh, when we do this, but uh, we'll go ahead and leave it as it is. So in this video, we saw how we can have a set of instructions that get called in a linear fashion uh, from our add items to list that we had before to our notifier alert, then changing our background color and also emptying out text. So this occurs in a linear fashion, one after another, and you see that the notch fits within the groove or the notch in the dimple, whatever you prefer to call it, which indicates that uh, these instructions fit well together. We also saw how we could use literal text to show a message and a literal color to change screen color. In our next video, we're going to take a look at how we can save this application and maybe share it with somebody else. Thank you.